Hello and welcome to Stencils, Pencils and Fab Foils Fish with me, Emma Jo. So, watercolour card, cut to size, stencil brush series 9 and some Elements Ink Sundance first. Then on the outside of where we place the Sundance, we're going to pop some green sleeves, then some Elements Ink Pine. Then add in the spaces some Elements Ink Blue Atoll so you get this lovely mix of colours. Where I've placed them is only for guidance, so don't panic too much. So take the pebble stencil and a size 9 stencil brush and some Elements Ink Merlot. And again, we're going on the left-hand side, so the bottom half of that, bottom left-hand side of that piece. So take some water on your fan brush and draw some invisible lines using the side of your fan brush. Now using the Mondeleuze watercolour pencils, if you take colours that you think will work. Now I've gone with a darker blue, like a Royal Navy, um, and a pale blue, and an almost aqua blue pencil. And I'm just colouring in those stones. I'm not making anything up, I'm just using what is already there. That's the joy of these stencils. And the joy of these brushes is that you, uh, pencils even, is that you can um, add colour on top of what is already there. And they mix beautifully too. So you can see it's starting to pop with all those blues, can't you? It's fab. Using some Versifying Claire Medieval Blue, I'm stamping the mini fish stamp. Now I'm going to create my shoal of, stamp, shoal of fish just by stamping about one or two, three times before I ink up again and just place them as if they're floating over towards that pebble that we've, pebble reef, if you like, that we've created on the left hand side. And once you've done that, dry it off. Now I'm using here a zig squeeze and roll um, two-way glue pen and I'm only drawing a stripe down the centre because that is where I'm going to apply my fab foil. But before I do that, you look at the inspirational word stencil stickers, um, sticker stencils even, and I've just chosen keep moving forward because I think that's a lovely sentiment. Now on these fish, that glue has now dried to the point that it's tacky and what you can see here is me using three colours, blush, teal and ice blue and I'm just putting little dabs of each along that stripe of colour to get a lovely flash when we move it. If you want any extra accents like eyes, use your aqua green Posca pen. And now I'm using a white Posca here to give our fish some bubbles. Let's let them breathe. I'm only doing three from three dots from up from each fish. And then I'm adding some white accents over there using the Kuritaki pen. I like doing this. Kuritaki Clean Colour Real Brush pens. This is a black and I'm just going around the edges and to create my frame. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fan brush with a bit of water and just add it to that edge. And that will create this lovely watercolour edge. Fabulous!